Uh, hey YouTube. So, kind of on a little bit of a roll. I like the fact that I got this contraption in the car that holds the phone now. Anyway, let's chat. All right, so what do you think about Lock Envy? To make it a little clearer, was there somebody whose hair that you saw that made you either want to get locks, not want to get locks, get the type of locks that you have, decide on a different set of locks, however I can word that properly. So like, for instance, with me, I like locks. Um, obviously, I have them in my head. But um, when I was a teenager in high school, my cousin was always a really big fan of locks. And she used to always say she was going to lock her hair. And she wanted traditional locks. And she has traditional locks. And I used to always say, hmm, I like them and all, but I don't know. I was like, well, if I get locks, they would have to be like micro braids because I don't want them real big. So I got locks and they're like micro braids because I didn't want them that big. Um, and it was funny because I will say from high school until I got them on and off, I honest to God contemplated getting locks and then it was more of like, well, how are people going to see me? Um, but I got to thinking, cause you know, they have all the little lovely stigmas to go along with locks. Like, oh, they don't wash their hair in my head going to be sinking. And then I for one have dandruff <laughs> and scalp issues. So I was like, oh, I can't get locks because I can't wash my hair. But when I go get my hair done and there's no way I can make it a whole month without washing my hair. Um, and then about, let's say three, three years and some change or so, my sister um, was working with a lady who had sister locks. And so she was like, oh, I love your hair. What is it? And she said it was sister locks. And so my sister actually called my beautician, talked to her about it or whatever. And so when she said sister locks, I started looking them up because at the same time I had just did the big chop probably five or six months prior to that. And then I did the dummy move. Let me explain. Disclaimer, I am not a beautician. I did not realize that when you put a texturizer in your head that that's a relaxer i didn't know that when you see people with texturizers typically their hair is still curly so i just thought it was something just to kind of loosen up the curls i didn't realize it was a relaxer and because my hair is so daggum soft which again i did not realize my hair was soft until my beautician told me that my hair was soft i had that thing in my hair for 15 minutes as the box said <laughs> okay and within 15 minutes, I went from having a afro that was probably about to hear to bone straight hair. Did not know what to do with it. It wasn't long enough to do anything. And it wasn't really short. It was just like one of those weird lengths of hair. It wasn't even long enough for me to put it into a ponytail. So, I started back wearing wigs. I wore wigs for six months, grew my hair out. And then here's the funny thing, because my hair felt nappy, I didn't realize I had perm ends, or in all honesty, I would have cut that hair off. I didn't know, and granted, I didn't ask her. She did ask me, though, when's the last time that you've had a perm? And I was like, oh, I haven't had a perm at all. And so she's like, well, have you done anything else to your hair? And I'm like, well, yeah, I had um, a texturizer I put in my hair, and when I washed it out, my hair was bone straight, but it wasn't a perm. <laughs> That should have been my flag to know you got some permans on your head or something. But I didn't think that I had permans because, again, the box said texturizer. It did not say perm. So, had I known that, I would have had those that hair cut off. And that would have saved me $100, like, literally. But, um, it is what it is. But I think she didn't want me to cut it off because my natural hair was so short that it would have been hard for me to braid it and band it. And I'm doing all this talking and I have not even hit lock envy see what happens so basically lock envy is when you see somebody's hair and you want their hair or you see their hair and you admire their hair like for instance duchess of black and crew 
I absolutely love her hair. Now, granted, I don't have traditional likes, locks, but her locks are dope. Love them. Um, Joyce MD. Um, she calls herself the Black Hair Compass on here. Love her hair. And the funny thing is, I'm not going to lie. In the beginning, I didn't like her hair. I liked it, then I didn't like it. Because, you know, it's locks. So she was going through the rough phase. And I was like, eh. But I was still watching because I'm like, okay. I'm like, but she's got a nice grade of hair. And she had, in my opinion, she has a really lovely grade of hair. And I was looking. And then it was like, oh, those is, I like that. Um, So I love her hair. Um, and the weird thing with me is I find myself having more lock envy with people who don't have sister locks than those who do, believe it or not. And like my cousin, I love her hair. Um, she's had them for probably about four years now and they're probably about to maybe here. Now granted, she doesn't live in the same state with me anymore. So these are only from photographs that I've seen and her car is sitting there about to there. But, um. I love her hair. Um, you know, obviously Layla Hathaway, Lettucey, love their hair. Um, Patty Fatty, Keisha Charmaine, love, love their hair. Uh, there's this one girl, I don't remember her name, but she's on YouTube and she has what she calls semi free form. She's a younger lady. She's a stay-at-home wife. They're kind of blondish. So, like, her locks, like, they're uniform, they're neat, but they're wild all at the same time. They're really, I like them. I really, really do. Uh, and she does a lot of, like, late-night lock talks. So, if you know who I'm talking about, you can put her name down there. But, obviously, I'm recording on the cell phone, so I can't look it up. But I love her hair. Um... Those are like my, and that's not all of them, but like those are some of the ones that I can ring off from the top of my head who I absolutely have lock in before and they have traditional locks. Now, as far as in the sister lock world, everybody loves Britannia 718's hair. Everyone loves PR Charles's hair. Everyone loves IBYL. Um, trying to think. Oh, I love, um, her name is, I think it's Violet Wonder 7. I love her hair. And then I love the fact that she started off her hair with permings just like I did. Love her hair. Um, Valeria RS, I think I've mentioned her name before in videos. She doesn't even do videos anymore. But I love her hair. Um, I started watching her videos because to me, her hair texture seemed to match mine. So, that was why I started watching her videos. I love her hair. Um, I don't know. Some of these newbies, though. Some of them, they got some nice hair. I do like that. What's her name? Ashante? Ashanti? Something like that. She's got, like, long locks. I think hers, they're sister locks. But I would almost say that they're brother locks because they're kind of big. They're big, but they're small, if you get what I'm saying. Like, for sister locks, they're big. But for locks, they're still small. So, I don't know if hers would be technically brother locks or if they're... I don't know. But, um, I like hers. Um, I can't think of anybody else, really. Uh, oh, yeah, Chrissy K. I like her. She's a newbie. But her hair is so daggum. It's just like full to her. And I, honestly, to me, it don't even look like locks. It just looks like just really pretty just volume and hair. Um, another one that I watch is Let's Journey. I love her hair. Um, I don't know. But like, yeah. So, like, is that even like envy? Is that just me just appreciating somebody's head? See, that's the difference. Like, I don't know. Like, I even had somebody have like envy with me. Like, I was in the beauty salon a few months back. Maybe it was last year. I don't know. And the lady was in the chair because, mind you, my beautician does sister locks. 
and she was getting her sister locks retightened. And they were long, and they were thick, and I thought they were really pretty. She was like, I want my hair to look like hers. I was kind of, you know, like, hey, thank you, girl. And she was just like, um, your hair's not going to look like hers. But what if I cut them all off and start over? It's not going to look like that. Your hair is your hair. That is the one thing that I happen to love. Not even just about sister locks, but just locks in general. Your hair is your hair. So while your hair may look like somebody else's, it is still going to look unique to you because it is going to look how your hair that comes from your scalp looks. So like for me, I have soft hair. So this is how my hair looks up close. You see that? You see the ends? And the ends are not perfection, but I had perm ends. So all of my ends did not seal, and that's okay. But this is my hair. Um, that's how it looks. So, a little long, a little chatty, but do you have lock envy? And if so, who is it? Whose hair is it that you're looking at that you're like, dang, I like that. That's pretty. That's dope. Hmm. I'm not going to lie. If I had locks, well, I mean, <laughs> not if I had them. If I had to do them over again, I would highly contemplate traditional locks. They would have to still be interlocked, though, just because I have to wash my hair. And I don't want my, I wouldn't want my retwist to wash out in a week because I'd be mad. I would feel like that was a waste of money. So they would still have to be interlocks, but I would consider traditional locks. I would. That's another question. With the style of locks that you have now, would you consider a different type of lock? And if so, what type would you consider? So for me, they would be traditional and... I don't know. I'm in the car, but I had to buy my son some pencils because I make him do workbooks in the summertime. I'm the main parent that likes to keep your brain sharp. So that when you go back to school, you're not like, what is that? I would have them <laughs> probably the size of a pencil or a little bit smaller if I were to do them over in traditional locks. And like I said, they would still be interlocked. Um... I ain't gonna lie, if I lived in Houston, Texas, I probably would have had traditional locks, and they would have been done by Mr. Damien Walter. But I would have had him interlock them and not palm roll them. And he does do interlocks. Um, I've seen those on his Instagram page. But yeah, so, what would you do different? Would you do anything different, or would you keep your journey exactly the same? So... Lock Envy, do you have it? Do you have any lock hair crushes? Is there anything you would do different? Would you pick out a different set of locks? Um, yeah. Chit chat with me. Talk to me. Let me know what it is. Um, I'm going to try to get y'all one more video if I can get it done. Another issue I'm having, though, while we're at the end of this video, uploading for some reason... My cell phone don't like uploading from Time Warner, a.k.a. Spectrum. Um, I have to, like, the last video I uploaded, literally I recorded it, and I uploaded it the next day from work, just off of regular internet off the cell phone. So, um, yeah. What do you think? Okay, y'all, this video is getting long, so I will see y'all in the next video.